I knew there was a reason I stayed inside today, Jeremy. Thank you so very much for that. The Topeka Zoo has a new leader. Christina Castellano has been on the job three weeks and finds her way over to the red couch today. <laughs> Welcome to you. You didn't get lost you as you so headed much. down 6th Street to get here. Um, actually, I did. <laughs> Well, I did. The roundabout, you kept but going in circles. Yes, I did. I missed my first term, but I made it here. Thank you so much for I'm having glad. me. I'm glad. So this means you're getting settled in still. Where yeah. did you move from? What is your background? Um, I moved here from Salt Lake City with my family. I have my husband and our small children. Um, but I'm originally from New York um, and the Northeast. Everyone keeps asking me, am I already used to this weather here, hot and humid? And believe it or not, it's very similar to New York. So I feel really? very much at home. Interesting. Yeah. I would say well, I'm, my family's from Wisconsin, and when it hits yeah, 80, my yeah. mom is tossing out water bottles because yeah. it's so hot. But okay. <laughs> you came bearing gifts. She brought me a little animal because the zoo is all about animals. What was it that attracted sure, you yeah. to the Topeka job? Yeah. My goodness, there were so many things when I first came out here for my interview. Uh, the people that I met, everyone just loved the zoo. It was just very exciting to hear what a treasure it was in the community, the support it received, the incredible staff that was doing just really amazing things for wildlife and education and for the community. And I thought, wow, I want to be part of this team. I want to be part of this community. And with my background, I was really excited to help the zoo move forward to achieve its goal. There's been a period of expansion at the zoo. The giraffe exhibit is new. The Camp Cowabunga is fairly new. Mm -hmm. What do you see coming next? What is the next step? Yeah. Well, our mission is to enrich our community through education and conservation. Everything we do moving forward, as we have been doing, there's a, there was a great foundation laid at the zoo by staff and our former director. And moving forward, we're going to continue to serve our community in a way that allows us to engage people with that mission and to select experiences and camps and um, animals to come to our zoo that, that really teaches about our planet and how we can care for nature and in essence, how that allows us to care for each other. When we talk about animals, what do you think is missing? What animals would you like to see brought in? I mean, even if it's pie in the sky, because we kind of are this smaller to mid size, if you think about yeah. it. And so, so that could, I imagine, be a challenge in bringing some animals. Yeah, well, what, the way I approach it is that I look at our story and I look at our community. For instance, we're getting ready to celebrate World Tiger Day at the end of July, and tigers is just a tremendous story for the zoo. We have bred tigers and contribute to their conservation in the wild. So when we work together as a team and we think, okay, what's next for us? It really is tapping into that story. So I'll be working with our team and our board and our community to, uh, to get their ideas and their opinions about what do we need here? What, what can we do to continue to make our community proud of our zoo? and to, to keep looking at the zoo as a treasure for everyone. So you're not ready to say if that's koalas, pandas, sharks, or anything like that? No, <laughs> it's more about the mission and, okay. and how we can best move that forward. But there are some really great things coming, coming down the road. Okay. Um, but we're in the process of developing that. So it's a little too early to talk about it, but we're thrilled and we think our community is gonna be thrilled too. I believe one thing that already had been mentioned um, was that area where the giraffe exhibit had been, something mm -hmm. perhaps geared toward children in that area. Yeah. When might we see those plans move forward? We, we are focusing on joyous play. Um, the excitement of learning, hands-on experiences, and really providing opportunities where really children of all ages can develop empathy for wildlife, which we think is just critical for developing a sense of caring for the natural world. So that will be one space um, that we will take to the next level. And we think we've started with Giraffe and Friends, that close connection to some of the most beautiful animals on our planet and that personal experience of feeding those giraffe that that's building that empathy and we're going to take that theme to the middle of our zoo as well well we look forward to hearing what's next any timeline that you would like to see or is it really too early to tell you i mean again you've been here three weeks <laughs> it's a little too early to share a timeline but we are super excited and we are thrilled to, to move as quickly as we can to deliver everything we think we should to the people who visit 
um, and the people who care about our zoo and our community. Well, go visit if you haven't been there lately. A lot of great things Please to come see. Visit. And Christina, it's nice to meet you and Very welcome nice to Topeka. You. Hope Thank you enjoy you so your time. Much. Well, we have a lot more coming up.